Hello to the amazing person who clicked on this video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Cobra Tower and easy strategies beginners can use to use it and advance with it. It does cost 5,000 medallions, so it's going to have to be people with a little bit more skill than just starting players. But if you've done round 13 Rainbow Russians, you've played in Rainbow Ruins or Lead Dungeon or a few higher arenas, and you've unlocked this tower, I see so many new players using the Cobra. But what they're doing is they're using it wrong, right? And they're making a lot of mistakes, and that's going to really hurt them. And they're just wasting their medallions. This is going to be a tutorial on some basic strategies on how you can use the Cobra effectively and how, because it is a really good tower. So, uh, we're going to start off, when you do your games, you're going to want to get up two Wired Funds in the beginning. And what Wired Funds does is every round you gain $80. It's not as efficient as farming, but it is still efficient. So, you want to get up these Wired Funds. This is going to be your money-making source. So, you're going to want to start off the game with two Wired Funds. I'll say this later, unless they anti-stall and you're not going to be able to get up two Wired Funds, then you're only going to want to get up one. Don't worry about that. I'll show you that later in a game example. But yeah, so you never want to go for this double tap. Doubles Cobra attack speed. In the beginning, you're going to want to get up these Wired Funds. You're going to have the Balloon Adjustment and Attrition upgrade here. Balloon Adjustment is really good. This is what you're mainly going to be using to kill your opponents with if you go Cobra. So what you're going to use for balloon adjustment is you're going to um, start balloon adjusting by round 16 because that's when the AI gets really good. And you're really not going to want to buy balloon adjustment before round 16 when you're going with Cobra because unless if they have camo detection on their towers, because it can be good to force camo detection um, or early camo detection on their towers, but you're really not going to want to use Balloon adjustment before round 16. Attrition, it isn't really that good in a game. It's good in tournaments because if you hit the round limit of the tournament, whoever has more lives wins. So if you can take off a few lives with attrition, that's good. But it's really not that great in normal game. It's a lot of money early game and late game. One or two lives doesn't really matter. So, monkey stim. Decrease tower power cooldown. These two upgrades aren't really used a lot. Um, but they can help, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> and tier four, offensive push. So this is really good. And this, when you use this, you can send a ZOMG on really early rounds. And this is especially good if you do mega boosts or speed or game modes like that. But, um, yeah, uh, this is going to be used and I'm going to show you how you can use it. And then this is misdirection. So what misdirection does is you're going to want to get up a few of these if the game starts going late game. And this misdirects. So if a uh, BFB comes down on your screen, it will push it to the other person's screen. The only problem is you can't micro with it. Because as soon as you get up a misdirection, there's like a little cooldown thing. Um, and it's one of the only, I think it's the only uh, tower that does that. So I'm going to show you two basic strategies that you can use now that you kind of understand the tower a little bit more. So the first strategy, and I'm just going to hop into, uh, it's Cobra's really good in old school, but there is no old school out. So let's just hop into CC boosts only. So the first strategy is going to be Cobra Mortar Bomb and Cobra Sub Bomb. And I'm going to show you how to use these two strategies. Because these are probably the most basic Cobra strategies you can go. There's some really, really advanced ones. But this is just a tutorial for beginners and how to get familiar with Cobra and use it in your loadout. And if you find a map that's good for Cobra, how you can use it. Okay, so we are up against Lil Chapin. And yeah, so this is pretty much your average CC player. And we're on Moon Landing. This map... It's pretty good for tack, but um, uh, it also works for Cobra. So I'm just going to be showing that Cobra Mortar Bomb... Oh, they're skipping it. Okay. So Interchange. This is a perfect Cobra map. This is one of the best Cobra maps, so I'm actually really glad we got it. So I'm going to go Cobra Mortar Bomb. And yeah, here we go. So it uh, doesn't... I mean, I don't really use my force uh, unless they use their force. Um if you want to try to get a good fourth, go for it, but I'm not that type of player. So we're going to start off the game with one Cobra, and you're always going to want to set all your Cobras on strong. We're going to get it to Wired Funds. And it does not look like they're anti-stalling, which means they're popping the balloons immediately. Which means we're going to be able to go for our second Cobra. So, yep, they're farming. This is good. Cobra beats farming, unless they're doing NFE, but I don't think this is really an NFE map. So we have a two Wired Funds Cobras, this is amazing, and you're going to immediately want to start ecoing to like 500, and they're not rushing us, 
if you're playing Cobra, you always want to rush the Cobra. You want to send the Cobra a lot of reds. But because they're not rushing us, we're just going to keep egoing here. Both our Cobras are set. They're rushing us with blues. This is bad. You always want to rush a Cobra with reds. But you know what? We're chilling here, right? And we're going to start going for this mortar right now. So we're going to get our mortar up probably in this top corner here. We're going to set it right here. And then we're going to keep egoing right now. So, sorry, I was, like, a little slow there just because uh, I messed with my recording thing and the touch bar. But, yeah, okay, so we're just keep going here. They're saying, oops, I think they got up their wrong farm. I'm not completely sure. So, they're sending us some pinks. So, I'm going to get another Cobra. All of them are set on strong. And Cobras pop two balloons with every shot, which is really good. Um, so, Cobras are good against a single popping power compared to a Mortar, which is good against group popping power. And that's why the strategy works pretty well. So, we have up, uh, they're getting up their spolt already, um, and we're just chilling here. We're getting up our cobras, and we're ecoing, and you want to eco to 500 before you start cobra spamming. So, yeah, this is a good strategy. Here we go. So, um, we have up our mortar, and we're gonna start sending greens, um, just to eco as fast as possible. If they start rushing us, we can get up a Bernie stuff. We can get up more Cobras, kind of depending on what they're rushing us with. I could have max ecoed a little faster. But look at this. We're playing aggro, and they're forced to get up defense. They can't get up two plantations round six. It's round seven now. They're losing lives. Look at this. Cobra's pretty darn good. We have up three Cobras. We're getting 160 each round. This is false, by the way. Uh, it Whenever my uh, computer is not churned off, like uh, shut off, it says it's on, so go, go away. Okay, yes. <laughs> all right, um, here we go, here we go. Okay, yeah, all right, yes. Um, but uh, we're at 519, and I'm greeting a little bit with this uh, strategy. Just because they're not rushing us, I'm going for a little more eco, and we're going to start spamming these wired funds now. Of course, always set on strong, and you're going to want to kind of spread these cobras across the map. Because what cobras are good for with the strategy is black popping power. Because the mortar, um, not good at hitting blacks, and neither is the bomb. The bomb's really bad at hitting blacks. So we're setting them all on strong. We're getting up these, and as you can see, they sold their spolt. Which is not really good for them, because they're just going to have to get it back. Oh, they're going dart farm whiz. Oh, okay, so they just got up their wizard to defend leads. Alright, and they're sending me some stuff. So, of course, we're just going to get up defense here. And yeah, I may have greeted this, so I may have to boost. That's okay. Uh, but they're not sending me that much, so I am just going to road spike that, and we should be good here. And I'm going to get up my bigger blasts, and for round 12, I'm going to need up... Oh, I already have a camo detection, okay. And we're going to also get up a bomb here, because they could round 13 rush us. They round 13 rush ups, we sell our bomb, we boost, and we... Er, sorry, we sell all our cobras, we boost, and we get up a bloom impact. This will defend round 13 rushes, but because it does not appear that they are rushing us we can just keep spamming these balloon adjustments so that's what that's exactly what we're gonna do so we're spamming these balloon adjustments they're on strong we're getting up more cobras spamming these balloon adjustments i'm just kind of trying to explain what i'm doing here and once we get to round 15 once we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 cobras is pretty greedy for balloon adjustments so i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna save up money to start balloon adjusting oh for Oh, shoot. They're rushing me with that. Okay. Yep, they're rushing me with some stuff. But I should be good here. So I'm getting up my missile launcher. A couple uh, camos snuck through. But I'm going to start balloon adjusting them. It's round 16. I'm a little late to doing it. I'm not really paying attention perfectly. Just because um, I'm focusing on commentating. But we're going to want to start balloon adjusting as soon as round 16 starts. Round 16 and round 18. Those are the really dirty rounds, right? And if these... Uh, things on round 17 these camos start sneaking through you're gonna want to just get up another mortar with camo detection um you don't even have to get bigger blasts set it down here but yeah uh it appears that we are defending fine they're sending us another one of those which means we're just gonna get up this and we're gonna play this rather safe so i'm just gonna get that up and i think they think we got camo detection on that because they stopped sending and we didn't but that's because we're sneaky look at this look at this oh shoot they are rushing us here Maybe they meant to tower boost. They're at two lives. And the Cobra is gonna... No. Oh, it looks like they died there. It actually just looked like they died. But you know what? That's okay. 
we're just gonna get up our balloon adjustments here, uh, setting all our cobras on strong, of course. And I'm actually gonna. There we go. Let's go. So yes, that is our first strategy. And uh, yeah, so this is basically how you do cobra. It's a very um, easy strategy to do um, if you know how to play it. And there you go. So I hope this this helped. And we're going to hop into another game, and I'm going to show you another strategy. So let's get into it. Okay, so I tried a while to find a game uh, and to find a map in which I could use the uh, Cobra sub bomb strat, but I couldn't find it. So, and the strat really only works, uh, or works best on a few specific maps, such as Snowfall. Um, but a lot of other strategies work there too that you can use. So you don't really have to use Cobra specifically for that map. So unlike Interchange in which Cobra is definitely meta. Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Can use your Cobra and get some dubs and use the strategy and play well. And yeah, awesome. Okay, have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe with a Professor Evil video or another one. I don't know. But yeah, have an amazing rest of your day.